This is Garda Wallet and right now I'm about to walk you through a fairly simple operation which is importing your ES account to our web wallet. Right now we are on the Garda homepage and in order to get where we need to be for our step one, assuming you haven't used Garda before, you should click create wallet right here. And we're on step one. You can also get on this page by entering the address www.garda.co slash app. Okay, now that we're here, click import or restore. Select EOS in the import tab and input the private key of the existing EOS wallet. I have my own key on the ready, so I'm just going to paste it right here. And then you should click the button add wallet. You should see your EOS wallet right here. By the way, you can add multiple wallets on this page, whether it be EOS or any other cryptocurrency. Once you're done adding all your wallets, press import. Now that you've clicked the import button, you should be on the page with the password input fields. Make sure you've picked a strong password and saved it somewhere secure. The password should be at least 6 characters long. Once you're done, hit the button I've written it down. Here is your Garden Multi-Currency Wallet with the ES Wallet inside. You can take a look at those tabs. Not all of these options are available for ES so far, but if you add another button to the existing one via this button, then you can exchange, buy, and send your cryptocurrencies. Also, you can see all the transaction history. Please pay attention to the backup tab, which is up on the left side right here. Remember to back up your private keys and store them somewhere safe. It's very important since they are, you are the only owner of your private keys and by losing them you will lose access to your funds for good. Please be careful and see you out there.